Welcome to Made in Alberta. As you can see, Riverdale Net Zero is a unique housing project that will produce as much energy as it uses over the course of a year. But in part one of our special feature, more than half the story lies in what you don't see. Really to get to net zero is critical to, to cut the energy load to the bone every which way. We could afford to insulate until the cost of further insulation was greater than the cost of more photovoltaic capacity, our most expensive renewable system. The results, R56 in the walls and a staggering R100 in the attic. The basement floor provides a heat sink or thermal mass for the passive solar energy coming through the windows. We've also put uh, R24, six inches of styrofoam underneath the basement floor. We've detailed the, the, the construction so that uh, we have very, very few spots where there's any thermal bridging. The, the basement floor is not in contact with the ground. Our basement walls are insulated to R50. Designing windows for passive solar in our northern climate provides an interesting challenge. A window on, on a south wall is actually a, a solar collector. The vast majority of our windows are on that, that side. We, chose glass that would let a significant portion of the heat through uh, and yet still have a nice high R value for those uh, December nights that, uh, that are 18 hours long and, and have no potential gain. On the other three sides, you want to reduce the heat transfer but still make use of the sun's light. Uh, and on the north, we're using some of the first uh, quad glazed window in the country. It's one of the few experimental things that we're doing in the house. Everything else is pretty much tried and true. Building for net zero requires a construction crew willing to dedicate themselves to plugging every possible point of air leakage. In a typical Edmonton house, uh, the biggest single component of heat loss would be air leakage. And it's the easiest thing to address, especially in new construction. A super efficient heat recovery ventilation system provides fresh air to the interiors. And these are just a few of the ways that Riverdale Net Zero looks after human and environmental health. One of our mandates from CMHC, and something we try to do in all our houses anyway, is to make sure that it's a really healthy place to live. And so we've uh, taken a very careful look at all of the materials that have gone into the house to be sure that they have minimal off-gassing, of uh, formaldehyde and other, other harmful chemicals. It should be a, a great place to live, an enjoyable place to live, a place that makes you feel good, uh, uh, and not only because you're, you've really reduced your, your footprint. The sun is rising higher in the sky over Riverdale Net Zero. The thermal mass inside will start absorbing heat to be given up later to the cozy interiors. And the electrical system will start feeding Alberta's grid with solar power. Join us next time for part two and energizing net zero. To learn more about renewable energy in Alberta, visit solaralberta.ca.